All right, here we go. Question number 13 from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We have yet another rational equation that we're going to solve for x. So up here in the right, over here in the upper right hand corner, we've got our problem written down. I notice that x minus 2 and x plus 2 will not factor. But the middle denominator, x squared minus 4, is the difference of two squares, and that can be factored. So we're going to need to factor that. So we're going to start with parentheses. The signs are always different for difference of squares. And to make x squared, we need x times x. To make 4, that's 2 times 2. And so now that is factored completely. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at every denominator and give them what they need so that every denominator is identical. Now I notice the first denominator has an x minus 2. What he needs is the x plus 2. So I'm going to give him the x plus 2, whatever I do to the bottom. I have to do to the top. So we're going to give him an x plus 2. The last denominator has the x plus 2. What does he need? He needs the x minus 2. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So the top gets an x minus 2. Notice that the middle denominator has an x plus 2 and an x minus 2. So he doesn't need anything. So now, do all of the denominators have the same stuff? We now have an x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 2, and an x plus 2, x minus 2. So remember, once we get all the denominators to match, you can effect, effectively cancel them out. And what is that going to leave me with? That's going to leave me with 7x plus 7 times x plus 2 equals 84 plus 7x minus 7 times x minus 2. And then we're going to need to FOIL. Looks like we're going to need to FOIL twice and then solve this equation for x. Here we go. Let's get started. 7x times x gives me a 7x squared. On the outside, 7x times 2, that is 14x. On the inside, plus 7x. Last but not least, plus 14. Equals 84 plus, and then here we go, doing the FOIL method again. 7x times x, 7x squared. On the outside, 2 times 7 is 14x. On the inside, minus 7x. Last but not least, plus 14. Whoops, I ran out of room there. Plus, plus 14. All right, so now let's combine like terms. We've got 7x squared, 14 and 7, that's plus 21x plus 14. On the other side, we've got 7x squared, negative 14x, and a negative 7x, that is negative 21x, and we have 84 plus 14, 84 plus 14, that is 98. And so now we're going to have to, well, let's see. Let's notice that this is quadratic. So we're going to have to set it equal to 0, which means we're going to need to bring the 7x squared over, which is going to make that a minus 7x squared. And those will cancel. So bringing the 7x squared over gets those to cancel. Negative 21x, if I bring that over, that makes a plus 21x. Add those up, we're going to get 42x. And if I bring the 98 over, that makes minus 98. 
And let's see here, 14 minus 98, that's a negative 84. Okay, and I just realized that since the x squared's canceled, this is no longer quadratic. And so, well, we're going to have to bring the 84 back over so that we can solve for x. So we're going to have 42x equals 84. Divide both sides by 42, and we get x equal 2. Now remember, when you're solving a rational equation, you need to take your answer back to the original problem and make sure that when you plug it in, none of the denominators become 0. Well, I notice in the original problem, I had an x minus 2 denominator. If I plug in our answer for that x, 2 minus 2 is 0. And so that means that the answer that we got is not really a valid solution because it creates an undefined situation. And so we're going to have to say, well, there's actually no solution. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.